What's going on you guys? Today I just received a package. Pretty excited about this. Now this is actually not my phone that's in here. Uh, this is my mom's phone. We both ordered the iPhone 7. Hers, she ordered in rose gold. I ordered in the more popular black configura configuration. And uh, it's expected to come on the 7th, or the 27th, I believe. However, today is the 16th, the day of the release. Um, so let's just go ahead and open up this box here. Um, special thanks to her for saving this for me and not opening it yet, so I can make an unboxing. Grip it and rip it, all right. Okay, just open this up. Got a little padding in here. Boom, there it is. So there's the wonderful iPhone 7. Like I said, she did order it in rose gold for her. So you have iPhone on the side. This is a little different print um, for my iPhone 6 box, which actually I can go grab real quick. Hold on one second. Alright guys, so here's my older iPhone 6 box that I have. As you can see, the printing is a little different. And on the back, oops, this is upside down. Obviously the 7 comes in 32 gigabytes. And the 6, I had the base configuration of 16. Just some stuff down there, but yeah, there they are. Alright, we're not here for the 6, we're here for the 7, so let's get right into that. Alright. So it looks like we don't even need a knife or anything, we just kind of grab this tab, make sure it's focused. So satisfying. Alright, let's do this. Oh, come on. They don't really... That is the most exciting part about Apple boxes is right when you pull it up, you get the iPhone. But as you can see there, it says designed by Apple in California. If it'll focus. Alright. Oh, there it is. Awesome. So we have some little stickers and stuff in here. But you know what? Let's get to that later. Alright? We need to get into the good stuff first. So if you pull it up here very carefully... Here's the iPhone 7. Pretty good looking, actually. Pretty feels good in the hand. Um, let me take out my 6 just for comparison. Obviously, this has a outer box on it and the Core i7 picture, <laughs> little sticker there. But uh, yep, here's the iPhone 7. Let's just go ahead and pull this little tab off. Actually, let me back the camera up just a little bit so you can see it a little better. There we go. Pull this tab off once again. So so satisfying. Set that down, and here's the iPhone 7, everybody. Let's go ahead and power it on for the first time, and there it goes. Let's set that down really quick and get into these little stickers and all that stuff. So you have two Apple stickers right there, a little warranty, you know, whatever this thing is, and the welcome to iPhone, you know, in case you guys, you know, you didn't have an iPhone before or whatever. Um... Here you have your little light or your USB to 5 watt adapter. This feels actually, wait, no, it's the same. It has a little sticker thing on it. So let me just peel that off. There you go. Okay. Oops, let me grab this thing that fell over. And this is not in Chinese, but there you go. Hello. Press home to open. Whoa, Voice over that. On. Springboard. Oops. Whoa, Seven. that home button feels English. so weird. Button. Uh, triple click the home button. Voice over off. All right, English, I want English, please. United States, please, and thank you. Choose a network, okay. Uh, let me put in my network really, oops. Is it not popping up? Don't know, let's just, oops, not this one. All right, let me log in really quick. Join. Should be joining in a second. There we go. May take a few minutes to activate. All right, while this is working, let's get back to this. Here's our little power brick. And right here are the new lightning headphones and the adapter, lightning adapter to 3.5 millimeter, as you can see there. Let's set that down. Here are the new lightning earbuds. Look pretty cool. And here's the charger that comes with it. All right, the iPhone's up now. So let's just go ahead and enable the location services, touch ID, um, we're going to go ahead and set that up later, uh, set up, or actually wait, whoops, set up touch ID later, continue, create a passcode, 
Um, let's just, can we skip this for now? Passcode options, maybe? Don't add passcode, just for now we're going to skip this, continue. Um, we can do this later, actually. So, store for iTunes backup. So we do have to connect this to iTunes. Um, so that's about all I'm going to show you for now. Um, but yeah, here's the iPhone 7. Looks pretty nice. And uh, that's about it. About everything it comes with. Um, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, the biggest adjustment is going to be that home button. It feels very weird, um, but it is pretty cool. All right, you guys, as you can see here, took us a little bit. We actually had to call our carrier to have them, um, you know, set up the uh, SIM card and stuff. But now it's totally working, and it was all backed up with all my mom's, you know, stuff. Picture of the dog running iOS 10. I had my fingerprint just for this demonstration, and it is very fast. I mean, I'd say, like, you know, there are three out of three times it works. Four out of four, you know, it's so, so fast. Um, even if I go like this, it works. So, I mean, it's very cool. Much, much better compared to my 6. So I ordered the black version, so I should get mine, like, on the 27th, I think. But it, it, half the time, it doesn't even work. See how that makes me enter my passcode? And it's just like, ugh, come on. Just such an inconvenience. It's, iPhone 7 is way better, all right? So, yeah, here's what it looks like once again. Um, and that is about it. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, have a nice day. See you guys later.